What's up, dude? Today, the controversial person that we're going to be talking about isn't actually a person at all, but rather an Instagram account. So let's get into it. Maggie Kempner is about 29 years old, roughly. We don't really know her um, actual birthday because she's a fairly private person, and I will explain why once we get into this just a little bit more. She was born in 1993 or 94 to Cynthia and James Kempner. James graduated from Yale with a degree in computer science and then moved on to work at Davidson Kempner Capital Management, LLC. Her brother Christopher works as a business director and her sister Nina is a senior account exec at the Krupa Counseling Company. Maggie's grandma was none other than Nan Kempner. Nan was a fashion icon, writer, and a very famous New York socialite, which I am kind of thinking about doing a video on because Nan is a very, very cool lady and I want to be her so bad now. Um, I, I might save that video and do it for like Sunday as a bonus video. Um, I think it would be really interesting to talk about like socialites and stuff because that's not really something that we have anymore. We have influencers, but socialites were a totally different breed. And I've been watching Gossip Girl, which you'll see how that ties into this video just a teeny tiny bit. Um, and there's socialites in that show as well, so that kind of ties into Nan. But anyways, yes, I think I will be doing a video about her possibly possibly Sunday. If not, it'll just pop up randomly for you guys, but she's a very cool person and was extremely well known in New York and she would even help out at French Vogue and she would be an editor at other fashion magazines. Like literally it kind of sounds like she would do it just like as, as like a, oh yeah, I'm kind of bored. I'm going to go help Harper's Bazaar or whatever. So very cool, but I'm getting sidetracked. So let's get back to this story. Well, as it turns out, Maggie is 50% responsible for the Instagram gossip guru account, Dumois. So Dumois in uh, French actually translates to to me, like T W O me. Dumois is a Instagram account that was anonymous where people could send in tips or gossip along with photos of celebrities or influential people and they would just post about it. Like whatever someone sent in, that's what they would post. So it really was like a modern day gossip girl. Um, the account actually started in 2013 posting gossip. So I guess, yeah, it really was gossip girl, I guess for the real world, but the account is still up. It's huge. The submissions are not verified. They literally just go through and post ones. Um, a lot of times ones that have photos attached. So that way they have a little bit more legitimacy attached to the um, tip but yeah basically all that's all that they do is post about celebrity and influencer gossip or news or like if they see a celebrity like for an example Zac Efron spotted with like a different woman at a restaurant people can send in a tip and they'll post it literally like gossip girl but like I said um, they never claim that what they post is actually factual it's purely just gossip although some of the tips do get confirmed and are by based in fact but most of it is just submissions from people so there isn't a lot a lot of um, fact to the submissions typically but it is a really fun account and I follow it a lot of famous people follow it Hailey Bieber claims that she knew who ran the account so it's really cool and there's kind of this whole mystique surrounding the account uh, Dumois identity was unmasked by journalist Brian Feldman who writes a newsletter about the internet called Bnet and I actually have the article that he wrote about Dumois linked down below if you would like to read it yourself it is really cool it's really good um, but basically Basically, he just went down like a rabbit hole and I mean like a lot of girls are very good at doing just keep seeing who's tagged in what and scrolling all the way to the bottom of feeds and he was actually the one that was able to figure it out now after he published this the women involved in the account put their accounts on private. All their social media is now privated. I did request to follow them, but I don't think that they are going to let me follow them, but that's okay. Anyways, the letter unmasking the anonymous anonymous account was published on May 20th of 2022. So even though this was like discovered a little over a year ago, I had no idea that we knew who was behind the account. It wasn't on any of the like 
the tea channels that I follow on YouTube. None of them reported on it as far as I'm aware. So I was like, how, how did I not hear about this that we know who ran the account? He decided, so Brian decided to write about the Instagram account because as he puts it, Dumois has chosen to tie their individual identity to their increasingly public line of work. I support people telling their own story, which is not mutually exclusive from also believing that at this point, the identity of whoever is telling that story in itself newsworthy. Dumois is a public figure. Maggie and a coworker from Ralph Lauren, like at the time these two women were working at Ralph Lauren at the same time, um, was was Melissa Lavallo started an anonymous fashion blog in 2013 on Instagram. That's how this whole thing started. Mel Melissa is also a model. In 2015, the two women did an anonymous interview stating, at the time we worked at the same fashion company and felt that there was an oversaturation of bloggers with horrendous style that were getting so much attention. We wanted to create a content only website that was edgy and honest, but still focused on fashion, beauty, and the arts with a spotlight on people in New York City and LA who are fun, smart, fabulous, and entrepreneur entrepreneurial. After the pandemic hit, they switched to solicitate, soliciting gossip from Dumois' roughly 45,000 followers at the time. The rest, as they say, is history. That's what Brian wrote about them. Now the account has 1.9 million followers, a Spotify podcast, and most recently, a book. These days, Mickey has stepped away from running the account and is instead working as a very popular fashion brand's creative director, and she has her own creative agency. However, Maggie has said that she and Melissa have thought of starting a content website that mainly focuses on beauty and fashion for people in New York City. So I don't know if Melissa is behind the account still, if she is the one that is solely posting, or if it's like they have more of a team of people nowadays. I really don't know that for sure. Maggie could still be involved, that too. I don't know. I'm just saying that we do know though that Maggie and Melissa were the ones who started the Dumois Instagram account, which I think is really cool. And the articles that I read online are from like very like B-rated websites, I would say, although Town & Country did an article on them, so that's a little bit more credible. But yeah, I can't for sure figure out who is still working on the account and like whether or not they're actually going to start a website or any of that but i just think it's cool that we do know now who originally started to moi so yeah that is my video for you guys today thank you so much for watching if you'd like to please subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up uh and i'll be back tomorrow with another video bye guys